My name is Long Wan. Uh, I'm an assistant professor in the Department of uh, Mechanical Engineering, uh, Stevens uh, Institute of Technology. Uh, and uh, I direct a research group, uh, and uh, our research group is uh, Advanced uh, Robot Ventilators Lab. And uh, we are a group uh, who is very interested in uh, fundamental robotics that uh, mainly has an emphasis on manipulation tasks and uh, you know robot modeling, design and control sensing. Um, and uh, um, so we do a lot of uh, robotic uh, uh, controls, algorithm design, hardware design, um, and also, uh, you know, really we do uh, applicational driven applied research. Um, uh, for example, we have uh, projects that focused on, uh, you know, underwater uh, uh, manipulation tasks. We have uh, projects that uh, focused on manufacturing manipulation tasks. We, we also have, uh, you know, tasks that uh, uh, focused on um, uh, physically interact with human uh, in the example of, um, you know, casualty uh, extraction, casualty uh, care uh, during, you know, emergency scenarios. Um, and uh, uh, another very uh, uh, unique uh, focus of the lab is on healthcare um, uh, applications. We do, uh, for example, robot-assisted minimally invasive surgery, uh, and we design and uh, prototype uh, new uh, um, flexible robotic uh, instruments. We also design uh, algorithms that can make these, uh, uh, you know, robotic surgery technologies uh, improved and uh, better. Um, and uh, to as a summary, we do a lot of uh, very uh, applied uh, and uh, uh, and also uh, both at the same time fundamental robotics research. I'm Justin Sittler. I'm a PhD student in the Advanced Robotic Manipulators Lab, and my research is on underwater robotics. Um, this involves a variety of different fields, such as uh, designing and prototyping different robots for use underwater, as well as a lot of mathematical modeling and simulation of underwater robots. I'm Aldrin. I'm a second year PhD student from the ARM lab under Dr. Long Wang. We're currently working on a small business innovation research project granted by the Defense Department. One goal is to develop a tactile digital human model that can be used in real-time simulations for robot manipulations. And another is to create a simulation framework where robots and humans can coexist and is capable of evaluating and computing biomechanical responses as accurately as possible. <laughs>